Russia's first moon lander in 47 years has crashed into the lunar surface, the country's space agency reported on Sunday. After an orbital maneuver went awry, the Luna 25 lander, which Russia had thought would land near the south pole of the moon as soon as Monday, crashed into the moon, according to representatives of the country's Roscosmos space agency. Roscosmos wrote in an update on Telegram, at about 14.57 Moscow time, communication with the Luna 25 spacecraft was interrupted. According to a preliminary study, the errant orbital maneuver put Luna 25 on an unanticipated track that put the lunar lander in danger, one in which the moon lander ceased to exist as a result of a collision with the lunar surface, Roscosmos wrote. Does this failure mark the end of Russia in the space race? Welcome to Lab 360, it's time to explore. Russia thought that Luna 25 would represent a significant space milestone. When Russia was still a part of the Soviet Union in 1976, Luna 24 was the nation's final lunar mission. A few years after NASA's last, human lunar landing in 1972, the probe touched down in the moon's sea of crises, and transported a sample back to Earth. Luna 25 was planned to land close to the moon's south pole, where it would spend a year looking for water ice and conducting other scientific experiments. Launched on August 10, Luna 25's first images from orbit, featuring selfies with the Moon and Earth in the backdrop, were beamed back to Earth on August 13. The mission swiftly reached lunar orbit. Although the area known as Bogoslovsky Crater served as the spacecraft's primary landing zone, there were two more landing zones that were also planned as a backup, to the southwest of Manzini Crater, and south of Pentlande Crater. In addition to exploring for water ice, Luna 25's primary scientific objectives were studying the regolith and rocks nearby, observing the tenuous lunar atmosphere, and developing technologies for future lunar landings. The failure of Luna May 25th have a significant impact on Russia's intentions to launch a number of lunar missions as well as its joint efforts with China to establish a permanent crewed facility on the Moon. Meanwhile China, a country that was nowhere close in the space race, has surely come far ahead. Only half a century ago it put its first satellite into orbit, whilst tackling a massive disruption caused due a cultural revolution. That, was in 1970. To put things into perspective, in 1970, NASA was already halfway through its work on the Voyager spacecrafts which would be launched in the next seven years. Fast forward to today, and China has launched more than 200 rockets in the past 10 years, sent an unmanned mission to the moon, and have their own space station after being kicked out from the International Space Station. Yes, the space race between the United States and China is set for a new and exciting turn, as the latter is geared to challenge the James Webb Space Telescope with its fleet of tiny satellites, as they dive into deep space. China's scientists are creating a fleet of small satellites to monitor the highly energetic and short-lived violent occurrences of deep space, the Chinese mission has envisioned more than 100 microsatellites, each outfitted with a smaller and lighter version of a typical X-ray telescope. The technique contrasts sharply with the current trend of ever-larger telescopes that can look deeper into space and time. They are calling it the catch, chasing all transients constellation hunters, and it will be a constellation of hundreds of satellites. The Zhuke-2 rocket, developed by Chinese company Landspace, successfully soared to orbit after launching from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in the Gobi Desert. U.S. Space Force tracking confirmed Chinese reports that the methane-fueled rocket made it to orbit, it was a milestone effort for Zhuke-2, which suffered an anomaly during its debut flight on December 14, 2022. Methane, aside from burning with a pretty blue color during launch, has been billed by advocates as being more environmentally friendly. While methane is a greenhouse gas, it is cleaner than the standard RP-1, kerosene, used in many rockets. Many US companies are working on methane-fueled rockets as well, including SpaceX with its Starship system, Blue Origin with New Glenn, Rocket Lab with Neutron, United Launch Alliance with Vulcan Centaur, 
and relativity space with its Terran line. Some of these vehicles have suffered issues in recent months, however. Terran 1 failed to reach orbit on its debut launch in March, for example, and SpaceX issued a self-destruct command to Starship during its first fully stacked launch in April after the vehicle suffered several anomalies. SpaceX is developing Starship to help settle Mars, and methane fuel can be sourced on the Red Planet, company founder and CEO Elon Musk has stressed. Vulcan Centaur was supposed to fly for the first time in early May, but that liftoff has been delayed after an anomaly occurred during testing of the rocket's upper stage. China and its private space companies have been on a tear in terms of launches, taking 54 missions to orbit in 2022 and targeting more than 60 in 2023. By comparison, SpaceX, by far the busiest US launcher, launched 61 rockets to space in 2022. While the global space community remains enthralled by these developments, it's important to acknowledge China's significant contributions in the realm of exploration. The space race is getting exciting. While China takes giant leaps in the field, the US is way ahead in the game for now. As NASA, plans to land the crewed Artemis III mission near the South Pole in late 2025 or 2026, provided that Artemis II loops around the moon as planned with its crew in late 2024, and that the spacesuits and lander are ready. NASA also has helped fund a series of commercial robotic landers, some of which may touch down on the moon as soon as this year. But this is not the end for Russia's participation in the race to the moon. After the crash, the head of Russia's Roscosmos Space Agency, Yuri Borisov, has revealed the main cause behind the failure of the Luna 25 moon mission. Unfortunately, the engine shutdown did not happen normally, in accordance with the sequence diagram, but based on a time stamp, and instead of the planned 84 seconds, it ran for 127 seconds. The probe failed to shut off its engines in time and veered from its intended orbit. Preliminary ballistic calculations showed that due to the abnormal operation of the propulsion system, the device moved into an open lunar orbit and, basically, crashed into the surface of the moon, the space official said. Roscosmos plans to follow Luna 25 with a lunar orbiter, called Luna 26, and then two more landing missions, Luna 27, which will send a drilling rig to the lunar surface, and Luna 28, a sample collection mission that aims to return material from the moon's polar regions to Earth. Russia is not alone in reaching for the moon's south pole. India's Chandrayaan-3 lander is also on track to touch down in that area very soon, as early as August 23rd or August 24th. Who will be the winner in this new age space race? Drop in your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Lab360, because together, we will explore.